final thing is this, and again, it's beautiful. I, I find it astounding how uh, Boaz goes overboard on his generosity. More and more and more. He, he instructs his workers, hey, I want you to leave a little bit extra for Ruth. I, I want you to make sure she's got plenty to take home to Naomi. I think when Ruth and Naomi arrive on the scene, they, they must have felt down here. You know, and I guess Boaz and the rest of the community, they are here. I think when Boaz invites Ruth to come and eat at the same table, he, he's bringing her to here. But now when we see this incredible generosity, it's almost like he's trying to take her to here. Incredible generosity, incredible treatment. Even later on, he's, he's creating space for more provision to go back into their household. Look, Boaz, he could have been indifferent. He could have overlooked her. He could have kept them at the margins. He could have left them exposed, uncovered, at risk, given them no opportunity. But as we move into chapters three and four, we see this moment where Ruth comes to Boaz and says this famous phrase, spread your wings over your servant, for you are a redeemer. And we see that he has made every ability to cover her. He's used his position. He's used his standing in the community. Read about how he contends at the gate with the elders for them. He uses his wealth. He uses his position in the family. He even leans into his own faith in God. When, when Ruth earlier is saying, you, you've spread your wings over, you've, you've, taken, you've been so generous. He essentially says, no, it's God's wings. It's the Lord's wings. He almost doesn't really feel it's even himself. It's, it's him acting as an ambassador on behalf of the Lord, stretching these wings over her. And so the ultimate redemption comes for both Ruth and Naomi when Boaz marries Ruth. And they have a son together. And when we read the end of Ruth, the book of Ruth, we see the genealogy that runs from Obed down to King David. And we know that that genealogy from scripture goes from King David through to Jesus Christ. And as we see that genealogy run, we're meant to see something of ourselves in this story of Ruth, Boaz and Naomi. We're meant to see the fulfilment of Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 8. It comes up on the screen now. It says, later I passed by. And when I looked at you and saw that you were old enough for love, I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your naked body. I gave you my solemn oath and entered into a covenant with you, declares the sovereign Lord, and you became mine. And so for each one of us that's kind of zoomed in today, that's connected in today, there's incredible joy for us to see at the cross. There's incredible joy for us when we come to Jesus today. It's acknowledgement that each one of us has been seen and asked for. It's acknowledgement that God has invited us in through his son, Jesus Christ. It's acknowledgement that he's protected us and he keeps on protecting us, that he's welcomed us to his table, the Lord's table. And each one of us have become recipients of incredible, amazing grace, such generosity that's been lavished on us through the cross. Through Christ, God has spread his wings over each one of us. If you're at home today, and you feel, hey, I'm vulnerable, I'm uncovered at the moment. I, I want to encourage you to pray to Jesus and to know the extending arms of God that come over your life. I want to ask you, if you feel exposed or vulnerable, then we want to invite you into our team, our workforce, our church, so you can know the protective embrace of the church as well, where God uses each and every one of us. God has got your back. Can I say that again? God, through Jesus Christ, has got your back. And it's from this table of grace that each of us can go out tomorrow, whatever we're doing, 
It's from this place of grace, of receiving Christ ourselves, that we can go around the world wherever we tread our feet. And to others that are vulnerable and at risk on the margins, we can say to them, we have got your back. By the grace of God upon our lives, we too can stretch wings over people in this church, in society, on the margins and express the love of God wherever we go.